Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use the sounds in MIT App Inventor. So here we go. Let's open the App Inventor website and click on new project and my project name is music. Okay. Now here, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use your one button. Okay. And in the left side, you will see here the components in media, you'll see the player and sounds. So there's two component and both are the non visual component. Okay. So non-visual component that is not showing in your screen. Okay. That can be displayed here in the right side. Now, sound is something whenever you need to play the sound related to the beep sound or some, some sounds. Okay. For a four, few seconds, like two and three seconds, one second, that is called sounds. Okay. So we are going to use here the sounds in this component. But if you want to play some songs like a background music, if you want to create a play or we are you are going to, you know, play the all the songs related to Taylor Swift or some other uh, singers. So then you need to use the player. OK, let's say the example for a sound. Let's see. So whenever someone click on this button, so we are going to play the sound. OK, play sound using this button. So what we need to do here, click on sound and you can see the source option, click on it, click on upload file. So we need to upload any file here. So you can download the any sound, just type here sound free download. So you will see here a lot of sounds, okay, 4 seconds, 12 seconds, 13 seconds. You just need to download that file and go to app inventor, click on choose file. And I already have one file here, as you can see this one relaxing guitar. Let's open this and just okay. Once you upload that file, let's go to the block section, click on that button like this and just click on that sound option and as you can see here the play option like this. So whenever someone click on that button one, so the sound will start playing. Now how we can stop it? For that I need to use here another button to stop this. Okay. So play sound, stop sound like this, go block. Again we need to just click on the ban button two dot click. Okay. Then we just need to use here the sound dot stop sound stop this one that's it okay that's simple now how we can create a player using this method so for a player we need to use the that player component so for that how if i will upload the suppose 100 songs in my app so that app become heavy is like that going to be around the 500 MB app or 1 GB app. So we can do this. Okay. This is not a good method. So what we are going to do here, we are going to use here the link. Okay. Uh, you can say like the any songs link we can add in the player. So how we can do this. So I'm going to just find some free songs, free songs download. And as you can see here, royalty free music download and bottom, you can see here one minute, one minute song, three minute. So now how I can use that songs, which are way free royalty free songs in my app inventor. So just open any song here. Okay. Click on the play button. Just pause it. Now right click on that. Click on inspect element and we just need to use command F or control F and just find your dot MP3 like this. Just you can see here you have a file. Okay. Now you can see this is the audio file. Just copy this MP3 file paste here and this. This is your file, right? So now we need to use that URL, copy URL, go app inventor here. Now we need to again use another button to play or uh, the player sound. Okay. So just drag and drop one button here, play song here, not sound. Okay. And another one more button to stop song, stop song. Okay. Like this, go block here. And this is the three button three, just once the people click on it. So we need to play sound. Okay. So before playing the sound, we need to load this. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use here the screen initialization. So whenever our screen will initialize, we are going to load that song, sound. Okay. So player. So just click on this player and you will see here the option of player source. This one. Okay. And just it. Now we have one sound. That's why we are using this. Okay. Suppose if you have a multiple sound, so you can create a list. Okay. Or you can use here the join function to add all songs. You can create a list of sounds. Okay. And then whenever someone click on the button, so you need to use here the index value or you can play that sound. Okay. So I'm going to use here the one sound here for now. And whenever someone click on the player three buttons, so we need to play that sound. So player and as you can see here dot start this one. And whenever someone click on the button four, 
okay like button four so we need to just use here the stop song that player dot stop that's it okay so this is the overall app okay so let me just show you how that will work okay so i'm going to use a connect ai companion and i'm going to use my phone here so this is our app okay play sound it stop sound so let's click on the play sound sound is start it stopped yes it stopped okay now let's click on the play song so this is the overall app if you need any help on that you can comment on the video i'll help you thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day be safe bye bye